Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 18th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the for loop in Python and uh, the for loop in Python is used mostly to iterate over elements in a set or a sequence. Right, so in this tutorial we are going to check out the for loop through a programming example and what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user of the script to enter uh, his or her name and then we're going to use the for loop to count the number of vowels in uh, the name entered and then we're going to display the uh, result on the output screen right so the first thing that i have to do is uh, you know initialize a variable count to zero right and the reason why i'm doing this is because uh, you know i'm going to update this variable every time the for loop encounters a vowel in the string entered right so initially i want this to have the value zero because if it doesn't have if i don't initialize it with the value zero then you know it'll have some garbage value and i don't want that right and uh, on the next line i'm going to display a message using the print statement and uh, this is to instruct the user that uh, he or she is supposed to enter his or her name so enter your name i'll put in a colon at the end and uh, then i'll use the input function to get the user's input and i'll store the you know string entered in the variable name right on the next line i'm going to type in the keyword for right so we are starting the for statement now and then i'll use a variable for the loop and i'm going to call this letter right you can call it anything you want to and the life of this variable is only while the for uh, loop is active you know once you get outside the body of the for loop and you know the the, the flow of the program uh, you know moves outside for you know this variable cannot be used right so I'm going to have uh, the for loop and then after typing in the name of my dummy variable, I'll type in the keyword in and then I'll type in name, which is the name of the variable in which I've stored the string, right? I'll put in a colon and then inside the for loop, I'm going to have an if statement that's going to check whether, you know, the dummy variables value lies in a list of vowels or not and you know the way the for loop works is this variable letter is going to iterate over the different characters in the you know string entered so if suppose you enter uh, a string like uh, roger federer then this variable letter is going to iterate over the alphabets in roger federer so in the first iteration is going to you know have the value capital R in the next iteration it will have the value O in the next iteration it will have the value G so one by one it's going to go over all the alphabets in the string entered so right th this is the beauty of the for loop you know we can iterate over a list or uh, you know any sequence it can be a string or uh, a tuple or a dictionary right so we can do all these things using the for loop and in this tutorial I'm going to check whether uh, the value of letter is in a list of vowels and uh, I'm going to have uppercase as well as lowercase vowels. So I'll first check against uppercase vowels, A, E, and then I, and then capital O, and then capital U. And uh, also for small case, small A, small E, small I, small O, and finally, small u so after doing this on the next line i'll obviously have to get a colon to get inside the if block so you know we'll get in the if block only if the letter lies in this list and if it does then we're going to update the count variable to count plus one so you must remember here that the count variable here is not the control variable for the for loop right it's just a, a variable that is going to keep a count of the number of vowels encountered in the string right and uh, you know the if statement's job is to just check whether you know the value that's held in the variable letter while it is iterating over the string that's stored in the variable name you know if that value is in this list if it can be found in this list if that is the case then it's going to update the value of the count variable if that's not the case then it's not going to do anything right and then after we've done this i'll move outside the for loop use the print function to display the message you have count and then vowels in your name right so this is good enough i'll save the file and i'll run it and uh, i see the message enter your name and i'm just going to type in my name that's madhur 
when I press the enter key, I see that I have two vowels in my name and uh, I have A and small u. And I'll run the program again with a different input. And this time I'll type in Tom Cruise. When I press the enter key, I see that there are four vowels in uh, the name of Tom Cruise. So we have O and U, I and E, right? So that's it about the for loop. I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll uh, discuss something interesting again. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, take care.